Hi again. My name is Rebel, and I'm the Rebel reseller. And the man behind the camera is Robert. And I'm we're not here. here. I'm not here. He's here. He's here, making sure I don't say craziness, making sure I don't call an elephant a lion, whatever other things I tend to say that I don't even realize I'm saying. And sometimes I fail to catch that. Yes, and but tons more stuff to share with you guys. Another huge bag. A plush that I like to pick up at the Goodwill bins while we're traveling. This is the game. This is the game we play. So let me show you some of the treasures. I'll just start with this because I knew I had this in one of the bags. I've got another plush sitting over there. This is that rabbit from Guess How Much I Love You. But I've got it sitting over there waiting for me to put this with it. And then I'll make a lot. I always grab these, the little sum, zoom zooms, and the, the bitties, the little bit itty, itty bitties, um, and I make small lots of them. This looks Russ. Don't think it's from the Home Buddies series. I think they're more terry cloth, where this kind of seems more, I'm not sure what that is, chenille or something, somebody told me once, but it'll be bread and butter. I don't know about him. Look, big old Squidward, but he's a backpack. Not really saying he's really any a backpack that carries anything, but I guess you can just wear him. You could put pencils in there. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of stuff up space up oh. here. I don't even think. No. I thought it was like going to be in his back like the other one. So no. Ooh, and the zipper's not working very good. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you could put a little bit of money or something in there. That's it. I don't even think a regular phone's going to fit. I don't know. I'm hoping 20 plus for him. It's an awful big phone case. Yeah. <laughs> Look how cute. No tag, but I think it maybe like that no, no bow, no ho. I don't remember what it is. Hopefully Google Lens will help me figure out who the brand is. Bread and butter. No bow is the Walmart clothing brand. No boundaries. Here's some information for who owns Wonder Bread now. According to Wikipedia, Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread is a brand of sliced bread which originated in the United States Where? in 1921 and was one of the first to be sold pre-sliced nationwide in 1930. The brand is currently owned by Flowers Foods in the United States. So at least now we know when someone says it's the greatest thing since sliced bread, they mean since 1930. <laughs> we have these things in every room in our house. And why? It just starts talking randomly. They're listening to us. Sometimes when I cough, it thinks I'm saying oh. the, 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 the magic word. But these things are important because I make phone calls to a certain person, and then she ignores them and says, <laughs> Oh, I didn't have my ringer turned on yet. So I can just, wherever I'm at, I can just say broadcast, and then the whole house lights up with me saying, Rebel, call me. I can't ignore his phone calls, y'all. Needs a bath, but this is Build the Bear, one of the mini plush. These do very well for me. I'm hoping maybe ten to twelve dollars for it. This is Oliver Raccoon. I think it's Oliver and Rachel, and they are the wolves from Great Wolf Lodge. This one is Build a Bear. Cute little outfit on. Probably bread and butter. So, so these raccoons are the wolves from Great Wolf Lodge. Oh my gosh. Let's do that again. Oh no, we're just leaving that. <laughs> but they were Rachel and Oliver. Were the raccoons from Great Wolf Lodge. Is that a wolf or a raccoon? That's a raccoon. Oh. But aren't... But they are from Great Wolf Lodge. That's fine. They're from Great Wolf Lodge, but these are not the wolves from Great Wolf Lodge. Right. But I've sold them before. Here, I thought I was saying something ridiculous. You did. But they are from Great Wolf Lodge. You said these are the wolves from Great Wolf Lodge. Uh oh, the raccoons. <laughs> oh, my brain has already moved on to the next thing. Look how nice. This is vintage Dakin. 1983. Y'all, the fact that the neck isn't like ridiculously bent. But another reason why this will be shipped in a box, never in a poly bag or a bubble mailer. But love it. I'm thinking probably 
15 to 20 dollars for it gund he looked like another bear that i've just recently listed but this one says his name is graham g-r-a-h-m so, i don't know most of these are bread and butter he's about the color of a graham cracker mm-hmm Ooh, love this brand needs a bath but it is decor d-a-e-k-o-r this one is from the 80s it's one of the, it comes in a larger version and i'm pretty sure i've even had it in a smaller version i don't know i'm hoping maybe about 20 dollars for it it's a pot-bellied wolf it's a pot belly raccoon First impressions, reindeer. Now, I know I've sold something else recently, and it was over 20 bucks, but I don't think a reindeer is going to do as well in that brand. I'm thinking more bread and butter. But first impressions is definitely one to be looking for. Oh, love. Y'all know I pick up the vintage plush. Look how cute it is. No brand. All I know, nothing. But I'll probably list it for like twelve ninety five or fourteen ninety five. Big old gorilla. It is MTY International. Probably sold Mother's Day, Valentine's Day at Walmart. Is my guess. Probably twelve dollars or so, fifteen. Ugh, dragon. Dragon. I'm picking up all things dragons right now because next year is the year of the dragon. This is looking Nanco. It's got this like metallic stuff on it. Don't ever, ever, ever wash these. I just say if it's dirty, don't even pick it up because all of this comes off in the wash. I'm speaking from experience, but this one's in really nice condition. I don't know. I'm hoping 15 plus for it. All right. This is Build-A-Bear. Funny thing is, is I just listed this little like costume for a Build-A-Bear this size, but the whole bear fits inside of it. So I may end that I, just this morning again, may end it and put it with this so that I have a plush and a little costume for it. Aurora, I guess a little bulldog looking boxer. No, not boxer. Bulldog looking plush. It'll be bread and butter. That could be a boxer. Could it be a boxer? Could be. They have that know. little on the end of their mouth. Oh, this came off a little baby doll. I want to say like Gigo. Yep. Gigo toys just seems weird that you've got this outfit and then this thing is stuck to it. I mean, literally tied to it. Don't know. I'll probably list it for like $9.95. Those dolls don't go for a whole lot. All right. This is a lovey. Oh, Manhattan Kids. Most loveys are bread and butter for me, but we'll have to wait and see until I check the comps on it. Madagascar. Marty is his name. If I have any other plush from this series listed, I'll just add him to it. Big old carnival style plush. Carnival style meaning it is like stuffed with like I don't know. I want to say like foam or sh oh, shredded paper. Do not wash ever. Spot wash. It is Cloud Nine Toys. Hmm. Dan Brechner. Probably will list it for maybe twenty twenty five dollars. I'm always picking up character plush. This is Nanco. What's his name again? Dino. Dino from the Flintstones. Probably $10 to $12. Look how adorable. Made in China. That's it. 
definitely vintage looking. Got the Sherpa pink. Probably listed $20, $25. Hmm. Ooh, FAO Schwartz. I have been listing quite a few FAO Schwartz here recently. None of them were really worth a whole lot. You know, $15, $20, $25. But in these larger dog plushes, I would have thought that they would have listed for more. We'll have to see what this one is. What is he, like a St. Bernard? But he definitely needs a bath. My cartoon experiences growing up says that he should have like a little barrel mm -hmm. on his collar. I think I had one listed or still do of one of them that has. Then I think the, the shelf, Elf on a Shelf St. Bernard pet has the little uh, barrel there. Love this. It is E-Tone 1985. I don't know. I'm hoping to list him. I don't know, $40 or $50 love him. Big old pillow size though. Bass Pro Shop. The tag looks like Toy Factory too though. That's why I'm digging. But no, just Bass Pro Shop. Fall of 2018. For some reason, people want to know that information when you're listing Bass Pro Shop. So if you can look a little bit deeper on the tag, you'll find when it was released. Little dog. I don't know. I'm hoping $20, $25 for it. This, yeah. Man, he's got all kinds of craziness going on his face. Little dog dressed up for Halloween. It is Dan D. I'm sure it's going to like... I've got another one similarly listed. I think it makes noise and then it shakes so that it's like bouncing all over the cube when I'm trying to video it. Probably, I don't know, hopefully 10 to $15. All right, what animal? Fennec fox. Some sort that's of fox. I, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's like Fennec fox. Dumbo's fox cousins. Look at those ears. Ridiculous. Wild Republic. Very cool. I'm hoping 10 to $15 for it. You can just tell. This is what? A plush. It is a plush. I'm almost positive it is Ikea. Look at those eyes. No tag. I don't know. I've not seen this one. But I did sell a Ikea something recently for a lot of money. Did you come it? across a fake... Ikea recently? Yes, y'all. And I even said it in my video. It was the pink elephant. It had the big long tag. Looked just like Ikea. Was not Ikea. It was just some knockoff looking thing. Be careful. Read the tags. Walmart. Frosted. Brown rabbit. Probably a list like $14.95 or so. Another sloth. I'm doing back-to-back -back videos. My other bag had quite a few of them also. This one says, distributed by something holding ink. Don't know. Bread and butter. Look how cute. He's a chili willy. 1982. California stuffed toys. He's got a little thinning of fabric right here around the neck. He needs, I don't know, he needs a bath, but I'd be concerned. He looks like, feels like he's stuffed with nutshells. That's like one reason why I wouldn't. The felt hat. So I may just list it and say leaving all cleaning to buyer. I don't know. I'm hoping 15, 20 bucks for him. I always enjoyed his cartoons. Mm-hmm. Fuck, another. I think I listed a previous big dog like this. I want to say $50, $60, $70. Ooh, he's got a collar on him. Let's see right there. Let's see what the brand is. Oh, SKM Enterprises. Don't know. I don't think that that's a highly sought after brand. 
So pro I don't know. Now I'm hoping maybe $25, $30 for him. Okay. You said $50, $60, $70, right? Mm-hmm. Why wouldn't you say $50 or $70? To me, that sounds weird. I'd say $60 or $80, but I wouldn't say $50 or $70, because if you do it with odd numbers, it just sounds wrong in my head. <laughs> Even numbers are fine, but I mean like, you know, 60 and 80 but not 50 and 70 I don't know, because my... I don't know. Don't know, dear. It seems fine to me, but then again, we tend to... Be on polar opposites on things. How absolutely adorable. Aladdin. They are big old long tags on there. Disney. I don't know. I've not had these before. I'm hoping, let's say $20, $25. Are those thermos mascots? What do you mean thermos? Oh, Aladdin. Ha, ha, ha. Of course, I probably just violated some sort of Vero thing by saying thermos instead of water cooler jug. Now, the ones that have the sweatshirts on are the ones that do really, really well for the most part. But I don't know about him. Don't know. And if I have another small one like this and he's not worth a whole lot and it's Christmas themed, I may put him with it. Mud pie. I don't like that. Very neat. Not sure. It could be, you know, 12 to 15, or it could be more. Do kids even make mud pies anymore? I don't know. We don't have little, so I can't test that theory. I made plenty of them growing up. Mm-hmm. Well, I've got another one of these listed. I'm not sure if it's the same color, but it was MTY International. Look, the ears grow and the legs get shorter. I don't know. I'm hoping 15 to 20 for it. Love this. I can't even tell you what it's like sweater like material here. Very cute. It says Animal Toy is the brand, 1983. Good luck comping that. Yeah, there's going to be no comps. I'll Google Lens it to see if I can pull anything else up that looks like it. Otherwise, I'm thinking 25 30 for it. Sometimes you can put quotes around animal toy, and then it has to find those two words in that sequence, which may help narrow things down. Not with animal toy. Maybe other things, but yeah. This is Golden Bear Company. I know for a fact I've listed another dog recently that had the same paper tag on it. So more than likely what I'm going to do is I'll end it and then put the two of them together. I'm going to be all about making small lots this next year. This definitely looks Walmart. Yep. Tie-dye lime, lime green. Keywords. Probably bread and butter. Maybe 12 to 15. Look, St. Louis Zoo. Right there on the tag. It says it is best ever. I don't know. I'm thinking $10 to $12 for it. They have a very nice zoo in St. Louis. I think it's all like supported by donors. They have paid parking lots, but if you park in Forest Park there, there's free parking on the street. It's free to get into the zoo. They have some paid exhibits, but the, the for the most part, you can walk by and see the bears and the tigers and the monkeys and the snakes and all that stuff for free. Wow. I know you took RJ before when yes. you were visiting. Yeah, Daniel and RJ and uh, my niece Sydney went with us. It was it was a lot of fun. I've always enjoyed going there. It was a little outfit. It seems more contemporary, but it is Cabbage Patch. I saw one of them labeled here somewhere. I'm not sure. I'll probably just list it. This Velcro or non-Velcro right here just seems to really snag stuff. So where did I see that? It, oh, right here. Look, CPK. I don't know. I'm thinking 10 to $15 just for them. And I'm not quite sure what this is. But I'll pick up most doll stuff especially when I see that it says Play School 2007 Dressy Daisy. 
I'm wondering if that's Daisy as in Daisy Duck or something else, but don't know. I'll have to figure out what plush it is. And depending on the value of the plush will determine how I price just the clothing for it. Daisy Duke. I doubt it's Daisy Duke. Y'all, here's my treasure. And I totally forgot I had picked this up. Totally forgot. And it needs a bath. So it's going to have to go upstairs. But y'all, this is big. I have found it, I want to say once or twice before. But right here. Never even heard of this till the first time I found it. It's called The Last Mimsy. It is this rabbit. Just familiarize it. Sometimes the tags are gone. It's got the stitching. It's got this odd face. It's got the belly button. There are larger versions of this, but I want to say this is like a nine or 10 inch version. And there is one sold that I saw when I just was looking it up real quick for $115. Anything that you find that's the last Mimsy is definitely worth checking comps for. All right, I didn't quite finish this bag, so this I'll finish this one and get another bag for the next video. But right now, I think I'm going to get upstairs and get some of this start washing so that I can get it listed very quickly. Especially these, these either seasonal ones or the high dollar ones are going to get bumped to the top of the piles that need listed. All right, get to work. Bye.